What's up guys, this is Ghoul97, and well, it's still Pride Month, so the usual stuff is happening. Yeah. <laughs> the Western Neurotypicals are being Western Neurotypicals. Trying to push their LGBT stuff on children and animals and anybody who's not them. While claiming they're still oppressed and denying doing so. Which is messed up. I mean, yeah, they become the oppressors. The Western Neurotypicals say you can't oppress the oppressor. Well, they are the oppressors. I mean, LGBT stuff is everywhere, man. It's celebrated by government buildings and everything. But they still want to be oppressed so bad. Well, if you want to be oppressed so bad, go move to Islamic countries. Go move to Palestine. But I digress. My laptop is not working. Yeah, I tried turning it on for the last two days and it don't turn on, which sucks. So, I'm probably gonna have to take it into a shop, a repair shop, next week or tomorrow. So I can get that damn thing fixed. Of course, that would mean I have to wipe the whole hard drive, which sucks. Because I collected a lot of good memes. I collected a lot of good memes that I plan to burn on, on DVD-Rs. And I'm probably going to have to wipe the freaking stuff off. <laughs> so the memes be gone forever. Which is gonna suck. Hopefully, I don't have to do that. But I'll see what the repair shop has to see, has to can do about it. They're closed today, but tomorrow they'll be open. So yeah, just gonna. So I'm just walking, I'm just walking around town. Just trying to see what I can get. See if I can get anything. Maybe I'll get some soup for lunch. Who knows? What's up guys, this is Ghoul97 and we're going to play Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, since the woke are a bunch of good former zombies, we're going to play Left 4 Dead 2. And since they're a bunch of clowns, we're going to play Dark Carnival. Recently I heard about this Democrat guy, this guy who was part of the Democrat party. And of course, an LGBTQ activist. He got he got arrested for being a pedo. But Reddit, of course, decided to decide to censor decide to censor the story. Decide to censor evidence that that guy is a pedo. Because since he's a leftist and LGBT, people are are going to defend him despite the fact he's a pedo, which is messed up. Of course, I'm not going to be real. I don't remember the guy's name, and plus I'm not going to reveal the name because I'm afraid YouTube will take down this video if I do. Because we all know how much the, the Western nations like to, like to protect pedophiles who are LGBT. They like to defend the pedos. If the pedos are part of the LGBT category, they gotta be defended, of course. Which is pretty stupid. We really live in clown world. Alright, we're gonna play Dark Carnival. 
Oops. We're going to start from the first level. So yeah. Come on. Yeah, this game reads back a lot of memories. Plus my uh my laptop's not working right now, so I'm going to have so I'm going to have to take it in the shop tomorrow. Take it into a shop tomorrow to get it fixed, which sucks. Which means I'm probably going to have to freaking delete all my data from that from that laptop just to get the damn thing fixed. Which I hope I don't have to go I through. I have a second, along with the car. I just, uh, I got some things that need saying. Man, this was the best day of my life. You did good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to Whisper in Oaks. Die zombies. Zombies go bye bye. I know the hetero the bull the hetero codes of all kinds are gonna fucking find this video. And they're gonna fucking comment on it or talk about me. Oh, I say bring it, bitch. I recently saw Mel, Mel, yesterday I saw Mel on Twitter and, and Instagram. He's basically, a, he's a man who want, who decided he wanted to go to a lesbian space. Yeah, Mel decided to go to a lesbian space and that so-called lesbian space had the trans flag, so, yeah, pedos. And yeah, he's crazy, the guy is I got banned from TikTok recently for calling out for exposing pedos, for calling people for exposing pedophiles. Because TikTok defends pedophiles, apparently. Yeah, TikTok is defensive of pedophiles. Because I exposed pedophiles, so the so TikTok decided to freaking decided to take to, to ban me from from TikTok for ex, for again exposing pedophiles. Which is pretty scummy, but then again, it's a left-wing app. So, of course, they're going to read me pedophiles all over that app. Not the tank. Are we using this opportunity to get away from these creeps? Get from these zombies. Zombies on fire. 
man, I'm gonna beat these sons of bitches till I lose my watch. Let's get up on the walkway. better. church friend had like had Taco Bell today for lunch. I kill a hunter by beating it to death. Soup home. I my church buddy's picking me up for church. So I went to church after all. better. Yeah. 
Here we go. Put. Here we go. Die, zombies. Men in one's bathroom. Yeah, my thoughts, you know, on the anonymous, anonymous asexual. Yeah, she's a pedophile. She's a pedophile who likes to groom kids to be LGBT, and she should be locked up. She should get locked up for being a pedophile. And groom, these people who groom children, they deserve to get. They get deserve to get scorned for grooming people, for grooming kids. Groomers deserve to get scorned. I don't care if they're LGBT or not. Pedophiles deserve to get deserve to get backlash. They deserve to get backlash for being pedophiles. And if you got if if you hetero if you if you LGBT terrorists get offended, that's a you pro that's a you problem. By basically getting offended by people disagreeing with pedophiles, you're admitting you're a pedophile. Grounds. Good thing I had those frag rounds. Frag. Fur rag. So I'll make sure you guys heard me correctly. So you see so neurotypicals don't take me out of context. I know Mel and the other neurotypicals are gonna freaking see my video and try to attack me because I'm autistic and heterosexual and I disagree with pedophiles, so that makes that makes me homophobic according to them. So apparently if you disagree with pedophiles, you are you are homophobic. According to according to the neurotypicals, you're homophobic if you don't want to disagree with grooming kids. Which is pretty backwards. It's drunk. Yeah. 
It's funny how they call it saying the word groomer is hate speech. When they talk about hurting straight people, it's just hate speech. And that's pretty hypocritical. All these pedophiles. Get the, get the pipe bomb, zombies. Die, zombies. Biscuits. Biscuits. Holy, sh holy shoot. Chop, chop, chop. You know, it's funny how these how the LGBT community likes to uh, likes to automatic like to see a a bill like they like to assume they like to see a bill that's made to execute pedophiles and automatically assume that's going to be used to attack LGBT people. It's like why the hell do you want to be oppressed so bad? It's like why do you why do you queers want to be oppressed so bad? Why do queers really want to be oppressed so? Yeah, queers really want to be oppressed so bad that they're willing to freaking act like that that an anti-pedophile bill is is an anti-LGBT bill. Because like the fascists they are. Like the fascists they are. They just twist things around to fit their agenda. Because they're a bunch of fascists. Because queers like to feel like victims. Because queer people like feeling like victims. You know? It's a fet it's a persecution fetish. It's called a persecution fetish. Yeah, queers have a persecution fetish. Man in woman's bathroom! Man in woman's bathroom! Thinking, well, what if the, what if the what if these queer active what if these queer influencers call you homophobic or transphobic? Well, I'll sue them. 
then I'll sue them because that's defamation. Yeah, these pedophiles will call me transphobic. Oh no, I'm terrified. I don't really care if they call me that with those buzzwords because it shows they're a bunch of freaking pussies. They're a bunch of pedophile pussies who don't who don't know what those words even mean. Boomer. Get in here, Nick. <sighs> Good old seven up. Whoa. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to follow me on my Truth Social. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I bought a couple cans of, of Progresso soup. Chicken noodle soup to be exact. And yes, it's still Pride Month, so usual stuff is happening. So yeah, just doing my thing. Hopefully I'll get my laptop fixed on by next month, by next week, I mean. Because my I my laptop means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah. It was given to me by a church buddy and I don't want I don't want it to break. I don't want to lose that thing. So yeah. And maybe hopefully around around the next month I might probably get a US another USB Blu-ray driver or at least a DVD drive so I can burn discs again. Yeah. I'm really missing burning discs. I'm really starting to miss burning CDs and DVDs and even Blu-rays. So yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good otherwise. Yeah. I know the heterophobes are gonna see this video and laugh at me because they like to laugh at everything that I do. Everything that happens to me because I'm autistic and heterosexual and male. <laughs> yeah. 
crazy stuff. Yeah, the LGBT community are a bunch of spoiled children. And they want to be oppressed so bad that they're willing to attack people and then claim they're the victims. Yeah. Well, anyway, hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Truth Social. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.